Today is an extraordinary beginning of a new era, and as a result of very deep thinking in my life, I thought it would have been an extraordinary idea if I were to actually begin really showing the true face of language learning. Now, granted, a lot of people look at language videos on the internet as primarily the finished product. That is to say, often with one video of somebody speaking anywhere between 10, 20, or possibly even more than that languages that are actually very, very well rehearsed. However, I think a lot of what manages to get lost, with some noteworthy exceptions, is the fact that often a lot of significant time struggling being made to feel stupid actually really comes into this, and this, this is even more true with self-study. And so as a result, I thought that it would be actually very helpful not only for my own maintenance, but also for many of you, if I were to actually show the true side of my language learning self-study efforts across a variety of platforms, and more specifically, the beginning stages. And so as a result, over the course of the past few months, I've been thinking about what sort of goals I would really like to attain. And one thing that definitely popped out to me is that I've had uh, childhood dreams of learning languages from the Pacific. And uh, as a result, I bring you Palawan, the language of the country, which is one of the countries, one of the youngest countries in the world. And I really think it would be extraordinarily helpful if I just simply jump right in. Now granted I did try to film this before, but apparently the, the sound was off. Silly me. And I absolutely promise that um, I am not primarily learning this language on behalf of the cool flag, although the flag is definitely very cool indeed. And so let's go ahead and jump into basic phrases in conversation. Uh, by virtue of the fact that I may have actually done this before, I may sound a little bit better than having done it actually for the first time without any prior rehearsals. And it would also be really funny if somehow I didn't end up recording the sound on this one uh, and would have to end up doing this for a third time. Okay, and so as a result, I will try to listen to the audio and then directly thereafter, I am going to try to pronounce it myself. And of course, I apologize if Palawan is some of your native language and I am butchering it, but keep in mind that I am doing this entirely out of love. And so as a result, here begins. So, Ali. 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 And so one thing I've noticed is that the stress is a bit on the, the last vowel. So Ali, like that in that regard. So um, another thing to also do is, if I recall correctly from my first run, is that there are some vowels that very much like in Turkmen are actually pronounced closer to the throat. And so that's one thing I'll definitely have to keep in mind, but no doubt the audio is actually going to remind me. Um, I think I'm probably going to do the first set of phrases and maybe save the next set of phrases maybe for another episode. So Ali, and then Let's see if I got that. Okay, so So I'm not exactly certain if the stress is actually in the last syllable or if it's actually somewhat equally stressed, but I think that maybe if I would pause each and treat each syllable very distinctively, it can come out more natural. So, Ali, or let's see if I can do that right. So, that's good morning. Okay. Now, uh, from my brief glimpse at the very, very long pronunciation section, I recall that the CH sound is actually a glottal stop, which is uh, familiar to me thanks to languages like uh, Tajik and Hebrew, which um, use various forms of it. So, Ungil O. Oh, great. Ungil O Do Song. Let's try that. Ungil O Do Song. Ungil O Do Song. Okay. So, Ungil O Do Song, and this is mid morning towards noon. And so I think uh, would probably be for the first morning and the first stages of the morning, and then towards uh, later on in the morning, you'd say like that. Okay. I remember that B at the end is actually pronounced a little bit more with force. So let's just do it again. Okay. This should be interesting. Okay. And then. This one I remember being particularly hard. Ungil Kepsengay. Ungil Kepsengay. Let's see if I got that. Ungil Kepsengay. Ungil Kepsengay. So, Ungil Kepsengay. Yeah. So, Kepsengay. Yeah. So, Ungil Kepsengay. And that. Let's see if I can try it again. Ungil Kepsengay. Ungil Kepsengay. Okay. Uh, and then, how are you would be Kyungang. I probably messed that up. 
Okay. Go on, go on. Okay, so I think generally that area near the throat is probably where a lot of the, the emphasis should be placed, I think. So, go on, go on. I'll try that. Go on, go on. And that's how are you? Go on, go on. Go on, go on. Okay. And this is very interesting indeed. Uh, merci, si. Okay. So if there's that ali, like that a double I sound, I remember like you, I think that you, the first bit of the I has some emphasis and then you drop it. So, okay. So, is I'm okay. Okay. I probably messed that up as well, but I don't care. Each of these steps is very important indeed. And uh, one day I think I will get very, very good at it and I will look back in this video and laugh. That will be a very fulfilling feeling. Okay, so Okay, so one thing I've definitely noticed is that that uh, NG sound, close to the throat, K, closer to the throat. I think somewhat better. Okay, so Let's see how I did. Quite good. And that's, um, I'm fine too. So, uh, if I recall correctly, is actually I, one of the many forms of I, uh, Palawan prepositions from what I've seen from the memorized course are something that gives me uh, very interesting thoughts and not always in the best of ways. Okay, so, uh, and that's bye or see you later. I don't know why bye is a question mark actually over there, but I guess it is what it is. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, so that L at the end, like, I think you want to, I want to emphasize that as well. Okay, okay. and then I'll do these uh, name phrases, and then I think I'll conclude with that. Uh, is, uh, what is my name? I think that that NG should not be pronounced as a syllable. I think that's important. Okay. Is, uh, what is your name? Okay. I think that the E should be a fairly weak syllable. Okay. Okay. That's uh, what is his or what is her name. Okay. The Angleu is uh, what are all of your names. The Angleu. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and recite all of these once more time, and then I'll, um, I'll go ahead and I'll conclude this. So, Ali, Odoso. I think I did that. Let's try that once more. Milod also. Okay. Ngir odo so and then ngir suelab ngir kepsenge. I don't think I got that. Ngir kepsenge. Ngir kepsenge. Kewa ngarang. Kewa ngarang. Kewa ngarang. Kewa ngarang. And that's uh, how are you? Uh, Missy C is I'm fine. Uh, Missy C. Very good. I think. Kewa ngarang. Kewa ngarang. Okay. 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 I didn't get that syllable stress right. Okay. Me kung me o. Okay. Me kung me o riul. Me kung me riul. Okay then. Okay. Me kung me uriul. Okay. And this next one. Ka I shouldn't learn to interrupt my teacher. The kangle, the angle, the kangle, and the kangle, and the kangle. Okay. So, as a conclusion, I will just simply say, me kung me uriul means bye. See you later. And I'll just simply go ahead and I'll think about what progress I've made. Until the next time.
Farewell.